Hey guys, some of you may notice where I am at the moment. I am on the Euro Tunnel, crossing the channel over to France. Now, I am heading over to Belgium for the Spa 24 hour race. No, unfortunately I'm not racing at the 24 hour race. I am there as a guest of Black Falcon Racing. Now they are the factory team for the Mercedes and it is going to be awesome. Yesterday I went down to Rich's at R2 Automotive and he did my alignment on this SC1000. Now the toe was out, the camber was okay, but once he sorted all those out, oh my god this car drives so much better now. I will also have to make a stop at Brussels Airport because I am picking up Edgar. He is flying all the way over from Hong Kong so it will be pretty good to have him along for this journey as well. At the moment it is about 3.50 a.m. I am so tired already and he lands at 8 a.m. That's why I have to leave so early and get the earliest train here. I have been traveling fairly long on the motorway just to find a Shell petrol station because obviously I want to fill up with Shell V-Power. This is one of the express shells as well where there's no attendance or shops or anything like that. But it's fairly the same price at 143 euros. So I don't know, it's, it's most probably similar to pounds. So a quick update guys, I'm about 30 minutes out from Brussels airport and I've received a text message from Edgar saying that his flight was delayed, he missed his connecting flight and he's been moved to a different one. So he had to fly to Frankfurt airport and then over to Brussels airport. So he was supposed to arrive at 8.55 a.m. I think, but now he's been delayed to 12.20. So I've just been having a nap at this Texaco service station. You can just see the motorway behind me. But it's almost 12 o'clock, so I can start making my way to the airport and hopefully he'll be there when I arrive. I did not expect Brussels airport to be so busy. I am parked at P1 and I'm on the sixth floor, which is the top, because every other floor down there is fully packed. But what a view up here, you can see the runway which is really good and I'm just going to head down to arrivals and pick up that guy Edgar. Oh my god that was such a long journey, I finally picked up this guy, he was uh, so late that I, I just had that nap at the petrol Don't station. Don't me. <laughs> <laughs> but have a look at the SC1000, um, I do not recommend you guys for taking this car for a long journey and especially if Edgar brings something like this, I mean look at it, there's no space at all. And then on the way down, he also had to put two bags, um, one by his foot, and then he had to have one on his lap as well. But anyways, we are finally here at the hotel. It's pretty nice here, to be honest. Look at this. Edgar was saying he wanted to bring his bicycle because uh, he loves cycling, but I was like, yeah, you're on your own. But anyways, let's check into the hotel, and I think there's a driver's parade happening pretty soon. We have made it to the town square and it is proper packed. Have a look around us. Try to get some photos of the cars and stuff like that, but it's just too many people. We might hang about a bit, um, but big thanks to Black Falcon Racing again um, for our bands, which will be, I don't know, are we going to go to the paddock later? Yeah, probably. Just we'll we'll give out, it a try. Check out the pits, check out the track. Yeah, a bit like what we did at Le Mans. Um, Got to watch, walk the track every time, right? Yeah, yeah.
After a quick breakdown at the centre of Spa, um, Edgar and I have headed down to the paddock. So at the moment it's pretty empty, which if I turn around you guys can see down there, everyone's still setting up for this weekend. So we're going to go look for Black Falcon Racing, are we? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and then after we'll see who's inside. Uh, hopefully there's some guys there, if not then we'll have a look around and see if we can walk the track later. We've turned up to the pits where the Black Falcon has set up their data logger and all their screens. Well, it's not on at the moment and none of the cars have come back. So actually they're all still in town at the moment. So if we wait about half an hour because the time is now 6.54, um, they should be coming back about 7.30 and this place should be pretty busy. So I'm going to hang around here with Edgar. We're going to walk up and down, see, well, to be honest, there's not much to see. We have found something else to do. Uh, we are actually on the track at the moment. So we decided to, well, Edgar wanted to walk the whole track <laughs> until he searched it and it was like seven kilometers. Yeah, it? So that's 4 .5 about 4.5 miles. 4.5 miles. I don't think <laughs> I want to walk 4.5 miles, especially after that lunch. But this is the main straight. And then after you have turn one, and I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but it's actually cambered and it's going downhill from here. So that's pretty cool. We definitely want to go to Eau Rouge, was it, that yeah. you said? That's what it's called. So we'll make our way down there now. This is the exit of turn one. Now, Edgar is going to describe to you guys um, how this is set out. So there's, it seems like there's a lot of stuff here. There's the curb and then drainage, a speed bump and then astroturf. And then you get a lot of runoff area as well. So that's, so, uh, that's pretty strange. First time you've seen astro as the runoff, you said. Well, in Europe, yeah. In Europe. Oh. First time I've seen a speed bump. How interesting. We are now at the bottom of Eau Rouge. And Edgar, how many stories do you think that is? Look, there's a, there's a building at the top of there. I think it's about six, seven stories high. Eight, maybe. Eight even. I mean, it, it, it's is. still going up still going up yeah even just like to the point where we can see the track disappearing it's still climbing that's pretty crazy I don't know how I'm gonna um, capture this for you guys but this is really steep maybe we can get Edgar to run up there and see how long he takes <laughs> are you he serious <laughs> no, I'm only joking I'm only joking actually that might be quite good yeah all right oh is he gonna do it oh okay <laughs> He's actually running. Um, so yeah, whilst Edgar is running up there, um, what can I tell you guys? Well, this place is amazing so far. Uh, there's loads of bugs. They're constantly like attacking my hair and my face as if it's a bush. Um, it looks like Edgar's slowing down right now. Oh God, he, he's kind of, he's making me laugh. <laughs> Maybe I'll join him in a minute. Maybe I'll jog up in a second as well. But yeah, um, this corner, this is so famous. Um, you can just about see the tire marks of the race cars going up there. Um, quite a lot of cars can take this flat, um, even in the GT3 class, but it depends on what car you're in, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you have to have balls, you have to have guts, and I'm pretty sure you can um, go flat here. But this is amazing. I can't believe, you know, this circuit is like in the middle of woodlands and there he is! He's waving to us. Um, yeah, he's right at the top. So he took him quite some time, but yeah, let me go join him. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you guys how it feels to, <laughs> to jog up here. That is really steep. And I'm kind of out of breath, but to show you guys how steep this is, um, that building over there is obviously set to straight and look at the angle of, of the track. So if I point the camera to the angle of the building, that's the inclination of this slope. So it's pretty hectic. Oh my God, I want to yak up. <laughs> this is horrible. I should never have run up there. <sighs> Give me a second to get a breather. We've made our way into um, a Marshall's pose. So 
Yeah, you've got the flags there. Mm -hmm. um, it's really tempting to just pick it up and start waving it out the window, especially at those guys who's coming out. Well, there's a guy cycling. Um, really tempted. G give, me, give me the blue flag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's not finding it funny, but yeah, um, I think we should get out of it. <laughs> After coming out of that Marshall's post, we started hearing quite a lot of cars coming back. Now these must be the cars from the parade, and they're literally bombing it up on Rouge. Well, these are the three Audi cars. Oh, I had to run back for this. Well, that was the Marshall's post that we were in just now, but I think this is for a team photo. That guy over there on his phone has actually persuaded me to walk the whole of this track and we've only done literally two corners. We're only on the straight at the moment. <laughs> I don't know what we've been doing but we've wasted about at least an hour just faffing about here. So we're here at uh, La Col. Um It's the end of the Camel Strait and uh, yeah, from here on it should be downhill. He lied to me about that. He said it was downhill at the top of Eau Rouge. What a liar. Apparently this corner is called Brussels. Is that right? Uh, says so. We have no uh, idea. <laughs> we usually call it turn 10 and turn 11. Turn 10, turn. we've done 10 turns already? Yeah. Oh, I thought we only done two. <laughs> <laughs> no name corner. So we have kind of uh, decided not to walk the whole track because we are only, well, not even a third of the way. So we've decided to use this gate to go across and hopefully cut through here onto the other side. Thank you, thank you. So I think this is the camping area. Quite a lot of people are already here. Um, yeah, this is the road that we suspect would take us back to um, the main traits. Finally made it back to the paddock. Oh my god, that was such a walk. And we are on this side. Eau Rouge is just over there. I think the Audi team is still doing their... Well, they're finishing up their sort of photography session, which actually there's quite a lot of people there. But yeah, I need to sit down because uh, my feet really hurt and yeah, I don't I mean, know we why. We only did half the track. Well, one third of the track though. And this guy's just crazy. He just loves to... Oh, there's a dead bird. Oh no. No, let's go. <laughs> Five, go! Outside the Black Falcon racing team, they're practicing their pit stops at the moment, and they're also so them guys are crazy. Look at the well, it looks like he's having trouble with one. But just behind me, one of the teams they're also hammering away at the tape as well because, well, the floor isn't very much straight. So I was down at Black Falcon Hospitality earlier. We had some dinner, which was really nice for them. Really enjoyed it. And at the moment, the temperature is really nice. It hasn't rained, which is awesome as well. So yeah, we're just hanging around here, chatting to Oli, who is the main, I think he's the main caterer for Black Falcon. I'm pretty sure about that. But yeah, big thanks to him again. We have now finished up at the paddock for the Spa race. Well, it hasn't started yet, but everyone was getting ready for tomorrow's practice and quali. Oh my God. Just now this was pitch black, but the lights have come on. Well, we were having a good chat with Oli. He's a man with many titles. But yeah, he was giving us loads of um, information about how to get sponsors and progress in our racing career. So we'll definitely take that on board and we'll have to see how we will go with that. But we're gonna head back to the hotel. I will show you guys because it looks kind of... Um... <laughs> Let's not do it. <laughs> I'll show you guys when I get there. 
so guys, back at the hotel room. I have to speak quite quietly because it's about midnight and people are sleeping. But here is the room. Well, I'll show you the bathroom first. It's really, really classy. I mean, look at this. It's so nice. And look at the bed. This is the bed that me and Edgar are sharing. <laughs> this is, he can't take it every time I show him this. <laughs> He literally sent me a link and then after he asked me if it was okay but I didn't even bother looking at it I just booked it and uh, confirmed everything so yeah this is what we will be sharing for the next what is it four nights something like that